It's very interesting how despite all that Jacob had been told about Joseph's being alive in Egypt, the Lord still gave him visions of night and in them commanded him to leave. Jacob leaves the land of promise for of all places, Egypt, which later becomes associated with the one place that God's people do not want to go. Then, although Jacob the foreigner, the inferior, the stranger, he stands before the leader of land. And as the text says, Jacob blessed Pharaoh. He, the lowly stranger, is the one who blesses Pharaoh, the ruler of mighty Egypt. Why should that be? Find out.